Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Calculus 2 Tutor. And this section, and the next several sections, many sections actually, will tackle the topic that gives a lot of people problems in Calculus 2 there toward the end. And those are the topics of sequences and series. So we're going to take things one step at a time and have natural chunks that we're going to talk about that are going to make it easy because we're going to build upon one concept to the next. And before you know it, after the, watching the next 0, 3, 4, 5, 6 sections, uh, you'll be really proficient at knowing what the sequences are in the series and how to deal with them in calculus. This section in particular is our, the beginning of this journey and it is on the topic of sequences, okay? Uh, the thing to remember about a sequence is it's just a list of numbers, okay? So you've been doing things with derivatives and integrals and trigonometric identities and inverses and all these crazy things that we've learned in, in calculus. Some really hairy math that takes up the whole board, okay? Very tedious, okay? Sequences and also series that we're going to get to uh, in the next section and the subsequent sections uh, are, are not so mathematically intensive. So that's the good news. The good news is you're not going to probably be doing a lot of crazy integration that just goes on for pages and pages. You'll, you'll do some integrals, but they're not going to be crazy, uh, uh, things like this. But the trick here with the sequences in the series is to understand the definitions and you're going to have to commit some things to memory, okay? Because if you don't do that, you're just going to be lost on your test. You're going to have to commit some things to memory. And so we're going to walk through those things here. So a sequence is just a list of numbers. So I'm going to write that down because there are some things I like to, just to make sure that you totally have in your head. And one of them is this. A sequence, okay, I'm going to underline it just because it's a term, is a list of numbers. Okay? So when you look at it, I mean, look at that definition. I mean, that's nothing. That's super simple. It's a list of numbers. It, it, it is exactly that. So if I have some numbers, and I don't know, by the way, how many numbers I, ha I may have in this sequence. I may have two numbers or three numbers or ten numbers. I may have infin infinity numbers. I may have an infinite number of numbers in my sequence, okay? But I denote them as A1, A2, A3, A4, you get the idea, dot, 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 off to maybe A infinity. Or actually what I do is I say A sub N. This is the nth term in the sequence, okay? So I have N terms in the sequence, or N elements in the sequence, you can think of it. Now these aren't added or subtracted or divided or multiplied. I mean, it's just a list here. That's why I have commas here, okay? Now the way you write this thing in a shorthand term, first thing you'll say is the sequence has N terms, which I just said just a minute ago. You can also say it has n elements, which are these, a1, a2, a3, and so on and so on. So it's just numbers. These numbers can be uh, negative and positive. They could be fractions. They can be decimals. They can be any number that you've ever dealt with and you've worked with before, okay? Now in shorthand notation, rather than always writing out a1, a2, a3, a4, dot, 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 it takes a long time. In shorthand way, the way you write it is you write it with a curly brace, okay? There's a curly brace, and you put a sub n inside the curly brakes, okay? And this means that inside here, a sub n means I have n elements of this sequence and I'm writing it down inside these curly braces. The curly braces mean they, they clue you in and tell you that you're talking about a sequence, okay? You can also write it, uh, whoops, you can also write it more explicitly uh, like this. Again, it's curly braces. Curly braces means you're talking about a sequence. You can put a sub n in here, so so far it's exactly the same thing, but you can also put the limits out here. n is equal to 1 to infinity, okay? These two things really mean the same thing. This is exactly what, it, what you think it would mean. Here is a sequence of numbers. They're just numbers separated 